Hey, hey, it's TDA and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. We completed our awesome first project where we wanted to construct 30 rockets per second, which we can now use to build pretty much any Dyson Sphere that we want. And then we went on and started with our project for 30 white science per second. You can see the result here. The base is actually slowly powering down. Um, you can see part of it is still act actively processing white research. But unfortunately, we have run out of the buffer of white research that we made, or at least the buffer of other science we made, so that it would allow us to make huge amounts of white science. There's still a steady flow coming in, as you can see, so we are still making white science, but we want to ramp this up in order to get all the research that we would ever want. We are actually researching some stuff pretty quickly already. We are now able to warp quicker around the systems, and there's another bunch of white science coming in. And honestly, the first few um, tiers of research for white science go pretty fast. They're not that expensive. Um, some of these are like two, three, four thousand science, but they ramp up really quick. So, for example, the uh, drone engine speed, you can see the level eight version. That is the second, I think, white uh, science version is actually already 18K. Um, and this ramps up really quick. The drive engine goes up as well. Um, a few things that you probably want to research is at least the first level of logistics station integrated logistics. So you have a stacker inside of your logistics station just doing the job for you. Makes your life a lot easier if you want to make larger builds. Uh, we have some levels of pain utilization also queued up. Uh, again, this will ramp up really quick as well, but you might as well get more bang out of your buck from all your advanced miners. Uh, all in all, pretty much anything you can click here is good. And of course, actually skip this one all the way into the end mission completed because we are not yet done with this game not that it can stops your game or anything like that don't get me wrong i just like to do that as the final last thing i do within a save game before we quit now um question is where to next because we could simply just build the same builds that we've built already that was a lot of times the word built in one sentence um, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. You have the blueprints, you might as well use them. And we will probably do something along those lines as well. But there's a few things that we need to do first. First of all, we need a lot more of everything. So let's jump on that. Okay, so first of all, in order to get more of everything, a good place to start is build a mall of everything. Remember this one? Our pretty awesome kind of spaghetti-ish mall where we literally built every building in the game. Uh, well, no, not, not, not every building in the game, but almost every building in the game, considering there were a few buildings that we haven't actually unlocked when we built this. And they don't fit in it because, as you can see, it is pretty much full. Anyway... Building a few more of these actually ensures that you always have access to things that are relatively slow to produce, like advanced miners. Even things like assemblers and smelters can be in really high demand if you start mass producing planets. And with your drones being upgraded and with the fact that you have all those resources at your fingertips, it is really easy to run out of buildings to place down. And of course, that is not something you want. So. I highly recommend at this point in the game, if you haven't already done so, um, maybe every other system or so that you visit, just place down a mall of everything that helps you actually supply your new systems with buildings because basically stuff is closer, but it is also a very good way to make sure you buffer some more materials and you basically have more assemblers making them at the same time. Now, actually, I already ran into this issue. Side note, we actually got the achievement for uh, white science to make at least a yellow belt full of white science. So that's cool. Um, that was the buffer. But as you can see, I ran out of solar panels. And if that sounds weird, it really isn't. I was actually already um, building some other stuff in between episodes. This is actually a really beautiful planet, side note. Um, and I just dumped um, something like a thousand solar panels on this planet already. And we are still getting more solar panels, as you can see. Uh, we are producing them and they are flown in. Uh, it says we're going to get 1,200 more. I'm actually not entirely sure that's true. I have a feeling it's probably less. I might also have forgotten to place that or actually to set the um, other polar hubs to supply at some points. So there might be solar panels just sitting around on other planets that I visited before. I, I hope I did it in most planets, but yeah. 
basically yeah, it's just solar panels are going to waste and we don't really have that many places where we're mass producing solar panels we have don't have any place where we're mass producing solar panels so let's fix that shall we okay so this is the end game and we don't do anything small at this point anymore um in order to make sure i have enough power i use some of our discharge builds that will supply us with a decent amount of power and if at any point we actually have an overflow of power on this planet because remember we are going to be building a lot of solar panels here and we can actually use this as a charging station it makes sense to place at least one of these on every planet you visit if you need the power it helps you power if you don't need power you have more power than you need on that planet it will actually help you charge for the next planet you need it on so don't rely on this to actually power up all your planets but it's a really nice and easy way to make sure you always have uh, power on planets where you need it anyway um, solar panels what we're going to do is we are going to be building a very large build well not very large but at least a larger build to make some solar panels let's build it over here i think we have plenty of room this planet doesn't have too many things getting in the way so that's nice and we are going to be making solar panels here where is it it's under buildings of course tda it's under buildings and we are going to be treating most of this as a raw resource so that's not necessarily going to be a problem but we are, we are going to need quite a lot of these now how many solar panels do we want let's just say we need 30 per second in order to make 30 per second normally at a 100 percent speed we would need six assemblers to make one per second let's do some math six uh, assemblers to make one per second and then of course we need a full belt so that's 30 times 6 is 180 assemblers making solar panels now remember we are producing them at 1.5 speed so we actually only need 120 and because we can proliferate that we only need 80% uh, of that so we only need 96 assemblers making solar panels I hope you could follow that math um, by the same math, we are basically going to deduce back from there how much we need in terms of uh, copper, silicon, and circuit boards. But I'm going to do that just quickly off screen and then let's start building this, shall we? Now, there has been a little bit of a debate going on in my comments whether or not um, we should go for kind of blocky square builds or if we should go for more long builds because long builds are easier to fit on in on different places of the planet why am i building assemblers i want smelters um so yeah long builds are easier to fit in on multiple places on your planet while um, more classic square builds like i usually go for are easier to place um close to each other in the middle part of your planet so that's really up to you i guess what you prefer there's no good or bad way to play this game uh it's mostly about having fun but still uh, it's completely up to you how you want to do that of course um however i do like my square builds and i'll see if i can make this build kind of square i am just building this on the fly at the moment so um in case you were wondering why i'm talking and doing that not because i prepared this in detail or anything like that nope just building as i go along um, now this is actually 40 smelters for silicon so we are going to need 24 smelters for copper um no 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 no, no not like that not like that not like that I am thinking to do that in the following way. We could either do 12. This is 12, right? Yes. Um, yeah, let's go with 12. Let's see how neat we can make this build on the fly. I'm so loving my new PC, by the way. It's so much cleaner and faster now. We don't have any FPS lag anymore. I'm not sure how bad it was to watch, but it's noticeable when you're playing. And, well... That's a good money spent. Um, I made this iron, but it actually needs to be copper. Sorry about that. Let's quickly fix that. And oh, there we go. It was already set correctly. There we go. Okay. So um, one thing left to do, and that is actually make the iron. And we can do that over here. Just a nice little smelting facility. And then, as always, we are going to have to shift that. And then we have iron over here. Now, um, you might be thinking, didn't you say 30 per second? Yes, I did say 30 per second. But I also promised you guys that I would make these builds scalable. So in case you don't have the newest system in the world, you can still kind of 
play along with this. We actually have some new things in here, so that's good. We are going to need some more belts, so let's pick those up. We are still producing solar panels, as you can see, just very slowly. So that we need to fix that. You don't necessarily need 30 per second. I just want to build that once and never have to think about it ever again, because there's no way you're going to need more than 30 per second. Uh, it's, it's quite overkill, to be honest. But yeah, um, it's good to have it. But if you just build three per second, and that is pretty much what this build is going to aim at, you should have more than enough for your purposes. Uh, three per second is probably more than you're ever going to need. Um, let's see. Let's have an outgoing belt of copper here. Let's have an outgoing belt of iron here. Let's have an outgoing belt of... Um, yes, an out... No, this needs to be an incoming belt. Let's see. So this is, this is going to have to be an incoming... Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Um, yeah, never mind. This will need to be moved. Why? This is going to be an outgoing belt, but then this needs to be an incoming belt. Like so. I was about to go and just do it without placing the belts. Then we are going to need to copy this. Let's just save the blueprint for a moment. And now we're actually going to have to move this as well. And let's place it down over here. There we go. Because that way, and don't you just love the speed of these drones? I know I do. We'll have the incoming belts over here. And then we'll have an outgoing belt over here with silicon. And an outgoing belt over here to combine with that as well. And then we need one more outgoing belt over here. There we go. Okay, so we have silicon, we have um, copper. What did I do with my... I, oh, I actually just deleted those uh, iron smelters. Ah, let's do that again. Let's do it again. And we are going to need only eight of those. So that will be just fine. I like that. And then we have another incoming build over here. So a bit of a sloppy build, apologies. But you guys like my on-the-fly build, so... Yeah, this is what you get with that. Um, and then we're going to need proliferation, of course. We are still in our super proliferation run, so let's proliferate everything. Uh, I'll leave that one out for a moment, because what we are going to need is some smelting facility. Sorry, some assemblers for circuit boards, and we're also going to need solar power. Now we're pretty much done, um, so it's not all that complicated. I'm actually thinking... How many of those do we need? We only need four. So could we fit those in over here, maybe? We could. However, is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think it is. Um, although we might want to actually move those slightly. A little bit of a lag spike there. I'm not sure what that was all about. Um, 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 in case you're wondering what I'm thinking about, I'm kind of wondering how I'm actually going to supply this. Um, because I don't necessarily want to have this build go all that way. Um, but this might be, this be a little strange, but what I'm actually going to do here... Can we go one down? No, we can't. Uh, no, 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 no. This one needs to be the outer one. It's going to be a little bit of creativity going on here, but I, I hope it will work out. This one is going to connect there. And then this one is actually going to go in straight and then be there. And then these are going to be our circuit boards. There we go. One, two, three, four. And this is the inputs, and then the output is going to be over. Um, yep, changed my mind again. Aesthetics, people, aesthetics, they are important. And 
the aesthetics in this case that I think I'm thinking about is actually to place these potentially even over here. Then we can proliferate them all on the same side. And then we have to wait for the autosave. Saving this facility is no small feat for the uh, processor. Then we can get, bring that one up here. That one up here. So it's all not nice and tidy. Um, and I'm intentionally leaving this open. Because what I want to do is I want to make those solar panels over here. Um, in order to do that, we are going to have to proliferate the outgoing belts. And we can do that like this. And then we have the proliferated silicon over here. And then we have everything nice and proliferated over there. And even symmetrical. How awesome do you want to have it? And then we are going to have to build some of these. Um, we are going to need 10. And I think we can get away with doing it like this. So, so this is going to wrap around. And this is also just going to wrap around like that. Um, yeah, that's all nice and dandy. But we also need the copper over here. I kind of forgot about that for a moment. Um, copper, silicon and circuit boards, of course. So... Not a problem, not a problem. We can fix it, we can fix everything, but we actually do need an extra belt in there. So we need to move this out. Uh, okay, so let me think, so let me think. We have, Which belt is the copper? This is the copper, oh, that's actually perfect. So this is the copper belt. Let's mark things up so we don't go crazy. This is the circuit board belt. So this is also a circuit board belt. Then we have the silicon coming in over here and this is the iron belt it's not going anywhere but since i'm marking everything up this also needs to be marked up because otherwise my ocd will go wild um this is output this is input so that also means that we can take this one around and do it like that um then that means that we are going to have let's align these Uh, we had that parked over there, so let's take that one. Doesn't, well, it doesn't matter how we do it, because I wanted this to be aligned. Is that aligned? No, it's, mm, why is it not aligned, actually? Because I am stupid. Let's try that again. So apparently that also means that these belts need to move one out. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Okay. So um, why are we doing it like this? Well, we are going to have to wrap this belt around. So then we'll have silicon over there. We're going to wrap this around. So we have the circuit boards over there. And then... Is that going to work? Yeah, I think it should work. And then we're going to wrap that around so we have the copper over there. Um, that, however, might be a problem because the copper is on the furthest belt. We also need to reach to that one so we can't actually do it this way. This is go turning to out to be more complicated than I had anticipated. It's not necessarily a problem. We can fix all our problems. But I do think we need to hop over this belt, otherwise we're going to have an issue. Um, yeah, pretty much. So, I am going to steal my little bridge recipe. Because I ended up making this tiny little bridge so often that I was like, yeah, maybe we should just make a blueprint for that. So, there we go. We now have a blueprint for that. Now we have a tiny little bridge with a blueprint. Anyway, not necessarily the most special blueprint ever created, but it has its uses. And I like having useful blueprints. I am really bad at placing these things, apparently. Uh, it helps if you start them from the other side. 
This is basically just an episode of me struggling to place assemblers, isn't it? Anyway. Then we need to wrap this around. We can have a nice little belt. This doesn't actually need to be this long. And that can go like this. All the way down. And then we are going to have an eyeless. Nicely tucked into this corner. We actually have more room here than I anticipated, but it's it's sort of square. Uh, we could consider bringing this entire thing a little bit down. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to do that. I, I, I prefer having it a little bit more square than this is kind of sticking out. And yeah, OCD, aesthetics, etc. Be right back. There we go, all nice and aligned. And as you can see, the first solar panels are now being produced. Um, it's not only just a line here, I also actually moved the iron smells because I didn't literally like how much free space we ended up over here. And I figured like, well, we want to make it square, let's make it square. So I removed those iron smells from over here, put them in the corner, had to fiddle around a little bit with the belt to make that work. But um, all in all, I think it turned out pretty nice. I put in all the um, sorters, apparently, except for this one, which doesn't work if I'm in this type of overview. There we go. So now you can also work, um, assuming you also get an input. I really neglect, neglected you, didn't I? Or smelter. Anyway, um, all should be working now. It's pretty, pretty nice and uh, small. Like I said, it's really scalable. Um, honestly, you probably don't need 30 per second. Uh, this is already producing 3 per second. As you can see, we get a pretty nice amount of solar panels coming in. Uh, they're apparently also being flown off to somewhere. Um, like I said, I probably forgot one or two planets where I am still requesting solar panels, which are now being flown off to. Eh, well, not the most efficient, but given the fact that we are now mass producing them, shouldn't be a big problem. They might actually just be, be flown off to our... up over here. Yep. <laughs> so this is actually working like intended. So all, all good, all good. Now, um, before we move on, I really recommend that you check all your basics. So we, we've now basically settled our solar panel production, but you're also going to need to kind of expand a few of your more basic items so that all of these moles of everything are actually doing something because we are going to need simple things like iron, um, copper, steel, etc. You don't need huge amounts of that because most of the buildings you produce in your mall of everything are not buildings like the solar panels where you need thousands and thousands and thousands of on every single planet that you're going to be visiting. Um, things like um, assemblers and smelters and things like that are not that hard to produce so you won't necessarily run out of those either. But if you want to make sure that for example things like um, advanced um, advanced mining machines, etc., are actually being produced at a decent speed. You do need to scale up your production of those things a little bit. I'll supply a couple of blueprints for that, for some of the basic stuff, um, just so you can improve your production of that a little bit. I'm actually going to do just that on this planet. Kind of make this our basics planet so that we have something to work from uh, moving forward. Well, Sometimes when you start playing this game and you kind of zone out for a bit and you, you, at some point you look around and you're like, wait, why is it dark outside? Wait, what time is it? Oh, everyone went to bed two hours ago? Well, that's pretty much what I did. Um, I actually went kind of nuts and started making basic materials and upgrading all our previous recipes. Well, not all of them, um, but quite a few of them. I think I, I remade about 10 or 12 uh, blueprints so far and then I figured well it's time to start like recording the end of this episode and make sure we go to bed and upload it etc etc um, but what I did is basically all the earlier uh, materials that also are used by the mall of everything I redid all the blueprints I upgraded all the facilities to mark three assemblers I took out the assemblers that were no longer needed and then I also made sure that all the empty room that existed because of that we Kind of push the buildings back together so that we are not wasting space. Um, I also put in some fractionators because we need a lot of deuterium. I made some broadband. We made some 
processors. A lot of buildings use processors. If you actually want your models of everything to do something, you do need to supply them with the base materials to do that. Um, what else do we have? We have some nanotubes. And why do we have nanotubes? Well, partially because some of the buildings use them, but we're also going to need them for the proliferation unit. So don't forget to build one or two more of these awesome proliferator builds because all of that other stuff is actually going to need be proliferated as well. And if you've only built the first one that I've showed you in that episode, uh, at this point, you're probably going to notice that you are running low on proliferator. So easily to fix, but because all our blueprints are designed in such a way that they basically only need raw resources, or at least what we consider to be raw resources in this playthrough. Um, so just plop down a few more of those, make sure you're actually supplying them with those resources, and then you should be fine. Um, Magnetic, super magnetic rings, also very important. A lot of buildings use them, so we're, we have a few more builds of that. Uh, steel, iron, copper, etc. All very straightforward, but we also need a little bit more of that. And then what else do we have? Uh, the solar panels, of course. I built a few more of those, so now we have all the solar panels we're ever going to need, so we shouldn't be running out of those anymore. And of course, copper and iron and things like that. I also made sure I put in some miners. Um, and last but not least, what did I do? Uh, you might have already seen it as, as I was scrolling past. Um, I went as far as make a second planet with a huge launching facility, similar to what we've done before. And I am now launching oodles and oodles of rockets. And it seems like a lot, but this sphere is actually going to take a while to construct. As you notice, our system is now called the Piff-Wiffle system. Um, that is because Piffwiffle is a fan and was kind enough to supply me with set blueprint for the Dyson Sphere. So this design that we're going to see quite, quite soon, um, I think I'll not put it up on the website just yet, um, or a link to it at least, because I'd like to keep it a little bit of a surprise. I think it's going to look awesome, it's a very intricate design, and uh, but it will take a while to construct. Um, some of the parts of the sphere cost, like, it's it has, I think, six layers. And most of the layers have about 30 or 40,000 rockets uh, required to complete it. I, I haven't looked at the um, solar panels. I don't think it's actually that much. But the rockets will take a little while to be constructed. And as you can see, it's slowly taking shape already. But I promise you, it's going to look amazing when it's done. So that is for the next episode, guys. In the next episode, we will... Um, do a little bit more of this probably but we're also going to be building some new stuff we have plenty of room on this planet actually so i think we might do that i did actually place a couple of ray receivers on this planet as well some of them are currently making photons because we do want more antimatter uh, and the other ones are simply used for power so might as well use the dyson sphere if you have one right so i hope you enjoyed this one guys and i will catch you in the next one